What's up, YouTube? I just received my MN90K Defender kit, and I wanted to go over some of the differences between that and the WPL C24, because there seems to be a lot of questions as to whether or not the components are interchangeable or not. So let's start off with the most obvious thing. Uh, the body, the body is bigger for the Defender, it's, it's a different scale. The frame rail is longer by uh, maybe an inch. The axles on the uh, Defender seem to be wider than the WPL. So here's a stock WPL C24 axle compared to the Defender axle. The Defender axle is wider. The Defender axle is five inches and four 485 thousandths, so nearly five and a half inches compared to the WPL axle, which is five inches and 18 thousandths. So basically the Defender axle is a half inch wider. Differential does have a different shape on the pumpkin covers. It's round on the WPL. It's kind of this rounded off square, whatever, on the, uh, Fender. However, the gears themselves look to be pretty much the same, and the sort of bolt pattern looks to be the same. The differential carrier is also different on the Defender. Uh, the design is really similar to the C24, but the holes are spaced further apart, so you will not be able to use the C24 axle like uh, diff carrier or whatever you want to call it. The steering linkage bar is also wider for the Defender. The suspension links for the Defender are also longer than the C24. Uh, these wheels and tires are weird. They have a different diameter for the inside and the outside of the wheel. However, they are super soft. I would say they're as soft or softer than the C24 kit tires. Comparing tire size, um, the Land Rover's tires are way bigger. The WPL tires are 925 thousandths compared to the Land Rover, which are 1260 thousandths. So it's about a quarter inch difference. And for diameter, WPL is uh, two inches, 610 thou. Let's call that 2.6 inches. And compared to the Land Rover, which is pretty much exactly three inch diameter. Good news is that the Defender wheels seem to have the same uh, size hex pattern as the WPL wheels, so the wheels should be interchangeable. Look how beefy those are. The transmission and motor look to be exactly the same as a uh, C24 kit engine, so it's a 180 size motor. The drive shafts also look to be the same, except that the Defender has the male side on the transmission, whereas the C24 has the female side mounted to the transmission, but they're the same kind of axle or drive shaft. The transmission mount looks different, but it's the same size and screw placement is the same. Servo looks like a normal WPL kit unit. The grease packet is the same as the WPL kit. The headlight harness is the same. For some reason it came with eight suspension springs and they all feel exactly the same. I don't, I don't feel a difference in stiffness. Not sure why it would come with eight of the same spring. Here's just some of the accessory plastic stuff. We've got headlight buckets, a steering wheel, windshield wipers, mirrors, gas pedal, brake pedal, door handles. Uh, not really sure what the rest of this stuff is. The axle housing itself it looks to be, is yeah, it is a bit thicker than the WPL unit. It's also wider, as mentioned earlier, by about a half inch. Steering knuckles look to be almost the same, except the end, the end that all the components go into is a little bit longer. Let me get a measurement for you. It's 
So the WPL is 526 thousandths compared to 600 thousandths Land Rover. So that's a 75 thousandths difference. I don't think that should really matter at all. As far as I can tell, the steering cups are exactly the same. There's no difference in size. The servo mount is almost identical to the WPL. There are some differences, but length and width are the same. The main difference is these nubs on the Land Rover unit are not there on the WPL. The WPL stuff has a slot for the screw that holds the top of the shock absorber. So this is where the top of the shock absorber will mount on the Land Rover. Otherwise, it's almost exactly the same. You've got this, you know, the trim and the on-off switch. Um, length and width is the same. The roof rack is pretty cool. Um, you'll see it is branded MN model, not WPL. So this is not a WPL product. It just has some of the same components. If you look at the C24, there's no way that this would ever fit on it. So that kind of gives you an idea of the scale difference. I guess, again, here's the Land Rover roof compared to the C24 potty. Again, it's, it's not gonna fit. One cool thing about the body is the hood lifts up. My favorite part about the whole kit is this Camel Trophy uh, decal set. Notice how they spell trophy and how they spell defender, yet they spell Land Rover correctly. Super, super cool. I'm probably gonna put these on even though this truck is not the Camel Trophy color. Um, these are just too cool. Um, the dashboard is way nicer than the WPL dash. These seats are way nicer. So anyway, that's um, those are my first impressions. I got this thing in the mail about half an hour ago and I'm super tired. I wish I could have done a better video, but I just wanted to get this out there because a lot of people seem to have questions about these. If you have any more questions, leave a comment and I will try to get back to you as quick as I can. Yeah, so there it is.